Welcome to Landscape Photo Editing Sessions. I'm Raya Tearakiri. In this episode, I'm going to show you my editing process for one of my latest photos. So this photo was taken at the Paradise Park Cliffs on the Big Island. And I took two exposures, one for the sky and one for the foreground. And on the sky exposure, a wave actually started coming into the frame. And I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to show you how I blended it in Photoshop. So I'm going to blend these two images in Photoshop. And that wave actually uh, got me. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, but it got me. But I'm all right. All right, I'm going to start by correcting the distortion. So I used a manual lens for this photo, the Rokinon 12mm f2. That's a good lens, sharp but it needs about a plus 10 distortion correction on it. And I'm going to do constraint crop. And then I'm going to go and um, correct the crop angle. Okay, I'm going to increase the shadows to bring out more detail and also increase the contrast to compensate for the shadows. I'm going to bring up the clarity just a touch and I'm going to increase the vibrance and saturation all the way so I can check how the color looks. So I'm going to increase the temperature a little bit and then maybe it needs a little bit more of a green tint. Okay. I'm going to slide those back and also I'm going to increase the vibrance and saturation a little bit to bring out that color in the moss and some of the, the rocks have some nice color in it too. I'm also going to remove that chromatic aberration, go to lens corrections and remove that. Okay. And one last thing, I'm going to go to an adjustment brush and I want to increase the exposure of the the water running through the middle of those rocks so I want more separation between those rocks so increasing the exposure of that water will create some separation between the two. So I'm going to increase the contrast and clarity and then start painting on. Okay, maybe increase the clarity a little bit and the exposure a little bit more. And I also want to decrease the highlights just a little bit. I just want to decrease some of that, the bright foreground um, water right there. All right, now I'm going to copy and paste all these settings to the other photo. So control shift C, I'm going to check everything, make sure the locum, local adjustments are also checked and go to the next photo and control shift V to paste that on. All right, so this for this photo, I actually want to want the exposures to be the same. This is actually minus one stop, but I want it to be the same brightness so I can blend the foreground or the sky and the foreground so they will look 
right. So I'll need to bring the exposure up by one stop. So plus one, that'll do it. So they're they're about the same now. I think it needs a little bit more that that wave actually blocked quite a bit of light. Okay. And then I'm going to decrease the highlights to almost all the way. Since I want some detail in the sky and some of that nice color. I also want to decrease the brightness of that wave a little bit. I'm going to reset everything and decrease the exposure a little and then paint it onto the wave. I'm also going to increase the contrast a little bit. That will darken it a little bit more. Okay, now I want to select the two exposures, right click and edit, open as layers in Photoshop. Alright, now that they're open, I'm going to bring the foreground layer down to the bottom and the sky layer to the top. And I'm going to use a layer mask to blend the two images together. So I'm going to go down to the layer mask button and while holding down the alt button, I'm going to click on the layer mask button and that'll just create a black layer mask. And I'm going to use a soft brush, large soft brush to paint the detail back on. So I'm going to select a white for my color and start painting the foreground, some of the foreground and the sky back in. I also like the waves in the underexposed better, underexposed photo better. So I want to make sure I got even coverage. And I'm going to also um, remove that little water spot right there. That's kind of a distraction. All right, next thing I want to decrease the overall exposure of the whole thing. So I'm going to use a curves adjustment and just pull down in the middle of the curves slider or curves adjustment. And I also want to, I don't want that curves adjustment to affect the the uh, water over here in the middle. I still want that separation to be obvious between these two rocks, that big crack. So I'm going to paint that back on with the black brush so that you won't see or the that part of the photo won't be affected by the curves adjustment. Alright, finally I'm going to select all of them and merge them with control E and then do a global sharpening so I'm gonna use a unsharpened mask with about 150 1 1.5 radius and zero threshold that'll make the overall image nice and sharp then I'm gonna reduce the size make sure the resolution is at 72 reduce the size to my usual upload sizes and then do a smart sharpen of 150 percent mount and 0.2 radius with the reduced noise about five percent and that's that looks good all right thanks for watching this video subscribe and like for more